Uh, Mr. Dunn, your next question to Mr. Johans. <coughs> Mr. Johans, uh, today you were named in a congressional committee report uh, as taking 38 trips in 2006 on a taxpayer expense at the request of Karl Rove and the White House to elect Republicans, Republican candidates for office. My question to all of you is, do you favor a revision of the Hatch Act to remove the White House Office of Political Affairs from federal funding and to not pay travel expenses of cabinet and other senior officials to fly across the country for a re-election uh, affairs? Mr. Johans. Um, I think that's a great idea. Um, here's what I would offer in terms of your question. Um, uh, your, your question really has it very, very wrong. Uh, this was not a question of travel. Cabinet members can travel for uh, political purpose. They can travel for governmental purpose. They can do all of those things. The, the question arose in the allocation of the cost. Uh, professionals at USDA handle the allocation of cost, uh, not the secretary or the deputy secretary or the assistant to the secretary. It's professionals there. And they objected to how that cost was allocated. I'm sure that that is going to be uh, challenged. Uh, I wouldn't have any doubt about that. Uh, but from my standpoint, having served there, I didn't need another trip. Um, quite honestly, I think that would be a great idea. Uh, and I think it would clear up all of this confusion about cost allocation. Mr. Love. You know, it is remarkable. All the good ideas when you're running for another office. You had the opportunity to say this is wrong. Why are we using taxpayer dollars for political purpose? I mean, that's ultimately it, right? And if you break it down, we are using taxpayer dollars right now to serve political ends, to elect people of your own party, to carry water for somebody that you now disagree with. Say you don't believe in amnesty, but you do, and you campaign for it. That this is really what we're talking about, the use of campaign, uh, the use of taxpayer dollars to serve campaign purposes, and it's wrong. It's one thing to say that you're a fiscal conservative. It's another thing to actually act like it. To not spend $20 million on junkets for USDA officials all around the world and close down 10 FSA offices here in Nebraska. That's not fiscally conservative. That's just wrong. That's a misuse of taxpayer dollars, and it is extremely troubling. And it troubles me even more that all the good ideas seem to come after the fact. This is about judgment. Right and wrong judgment.